Welcome to Ultimate Talk, presented by Ultimate Canada. My name is Danielle. In these episodes, we're going to look at some often misunderstood rules, so you can get more enjoyment out of the game that we love. Today, we're going to look at traveling. In the game of Ultimate, a player must establish a pivot on the field before throwing the disc, and must maintain that pivot until after the disc is released. If the pivot is lifted, or dragged across the field before the disc is released, that is considered a travel. If the throw is completed, play must stop. It is also a travel if a receiver speeds up, changes direction, or takes too many steps to slow down after catching the disc. A popular misconception is that you cannot take more than three steps to slow down. This is not the case. You can take as many steps as you reasonably need to safely stop. This may be four or more steps if you're at a full sprint, or only one step or none if barely moving. Intentionally tipping the disc to yourself is also a travel. There are two exceptions to the rule. One is, if a player is on the ground after a catch, the player is allowed to stand up and establish a pivot. The player may also choose to throw without standing up. You can use any part of your body as a pivot. The other exception to the rule was established to allow players to throw while still running. It's often referred to as a give and go. A player receiving a disc may throw the disc while running, provided the disc is released before their third contact to the ground. If the third contact occurs while they still have the disc, they must now stop and establish a pivot. Any player on the defensive team can call a travel. When a travel is called after a completed throw, the play stops and the thrower returns to the location they were at when the travel occurred, and play restarts with a check once the team on defense has indicated that they're ready. If the throw is not completed, play continues as usual. The count comes in at one more than it was. If the marker got to stall three, and then travel was called, it will now come in at four, as in stalling four, five, etc. There are two exceptions. One, if the previous count was nine, it comes in at nine, not ten, as in stalling nine, ten. Two, if the travel is contested and the resumed count would have been higher than six, it is now six. The marker would tap it in and say, stalling six, seven, etc. If the marker is not close enough, you may tap the disc to the ground to resume play. So, in review, you cannot lift or drag your pivot before you throw. You cannot speed up or change direction after you catch the disc. You can take as many steps as you need to slow down. You cannot intentionally tip the disc to yourself. If you're on the ground, you may choose to stand up and establish a pivot. You may throw the disc while running as long as you throw the disc before your third contact with the ground. If the throw is not completed after the travel is called, play continues as usual. Thanks for tuning in to Ultimate Talk. We'll see you soon. And remember, always play with spirit. Right, Daisy?